Well, hello. Today we're going to continue learning uh, Flexi Layout Studio for Abbey Flexi Capture. Now, Flexi Layouts, just to remind you, is a way that we can get semi-structured data or or data that has some sort of textual um, relationship instead of uh, location. So, what we've done in the past is we've located some elements based on some some obvious things like. Uh, um, keywords, for example, your planet name in this case, or your spaceship number in this case, and we use what we called label fields to find it. So we have a label and we have a field and that's what we, we want to capture. Today we're going to look at some other advanced elements that we can use. Uh, an example would be maybe a barcode um, or maybe some dates and etc. So we're going to learn that today. We're going to learn about like, a little bit about uh, relationships and how we can use the information that we find on the form or different text on the form to help us determine a relationship that will help us find other text on the form. So let's start out today by looking for this barcode. There's a barcode if we look at each one of these. There's a barcode on this form and this one will be a, a very simple one. So let's go ahead and add a barcode field. Remember, we always do a search element, and then whatever we return in blocks, these blocks are what gets returned to the FlexiCapture uh, products so that we can capture these uh, on, on documents as we process them. So we're going to create an element, and this one's going to be pretty obvious here. We're going to have what we call a barcode element. And on the barcode element, we have a lot of different features that we can reference. And you can see we can control what kind of barcodes, how they orient, um, again, once again, how they relate to each other and other elements on the form. But in this case, we're going to be happy that we have a barcode. So we're going to have a barcode. Um, and there is just one barcode on every one of the samples, which is fine. So in this case, we're just going to tell the software to look for a barcode. And we're going to tell it where its source is. Remember, every block relates to a um, search element source. So we're going to tell the software this is a barcode. And we'll go ahead and match these documents here. And now that we have that, you can see now we are returning um, in green, which means we found it. We are returning that block, um, which is the barcode. So I'm going to intelligently uh, name this one here instead of block. We'll maybe call this our barcode. And then if we see here, we can match. And we'll see that every of, uh, all of our barcodes are found here. So now that we've found barcode, let's look for something like... Um, name here. Um, name is an interesting field because if we just tell the software to look for uh, the word name colon, it will obviously find things like this field, which is exactly what we do not want to happen. However, if we look at every one of these, we can tell the software to use a, what we call a relationship. Now, there are multiple ways to find elements on a form, and every developer is going to do it a little bit differently. But today we're going to target using relationships on how we do this. Um, other developers might use what we call a first found field. Uh, but in this case, we're going to simply um, look for anything that has the word name in it, but it has to be above this your planet name. So um, in this case, we're going to say, hey, we want to find a uh, labeled field. And in this case, we'll say, look for anything that has the name, name colon. And if we stopped there, you would definitely have problems in relationship to your planet name. In fact, let's go ahead and stop there. And we'll just add it a block so it's obvious to see. And let's give it an intelligent name here just so we can make sure we understand the difference. And I should have been a little bit more disciplined. We should call this a really a good name here. We'll call the labeled field a little bit more intelligently. And when we search for these, the software will sometimes find it correctly and sometimes not. Um, in this case, we did fine um, on, on most of these. But you can see here, we did not find name colon. Um, that's just to speak to some of the you know differences in, in what we call our hypotheses here. However, it did find name colon. But you'll see, um, in this case, um, oh, this one's fine. And in this case here, maybe, you can see it, we're getting confused here with the planet name. So if we can put a relationship on here that says, hey, anytime you find name colon for the guest name, we don't want to talk about planet name, but we realize that the guest name must always be above your planet name. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, go look for your planet name, 
go look for that field and make sure that when we find the guest name that it's always above it. Um, and you can see we can we can play around with some offsets, which is very common. We typically need to do that when we're uh, developing complex, uh, more complex forms. But in this case, we'll go ahead and let the software run. Now that we've set up that relationship or that relation, you can see here it's very obvious that we're determining where the guest name is located. So there's no confusion on this name field with this name field. To just show you again how that would work, um, let's let's assume that we need to grab the date field here. So um, it's it's very obvious there's a date field, and we can see that in most of these it's between spaceship number and this barcode. So once again, we'll just take a peek. There's spaceship number in the barcode, and we'll just take another peek here. There's spaceship number in the barcode, and that date is always in between there. So what we're going to tell the software is to look for a date, and we have this date element. And we can say, hey, um, we'll give it a smart name, maybe like uh, date arrival. Oops, excuse me, arrival. Of course, it's a date. We can tell it what format we want it to be in. Um, and, you know, we could get very specific based on, on your requirements. But we want to tell it a relationship. Now, in this case, remember that it's always below the spaceship number field. So we're going to look for the spaceship number field. And we're going to say it must be below it. And it must be above the barcode. So we're just going to look for the barcode and say that it must always be above it. So in other words, it's going to be above, it's going to be between the barcode and the spaceship number um, vertically on this form. So we're going to hit OK. And now we're going to add our search block here. Um, in this case, we'll just consider it text. Remember, we always got to give it a source. And what we'll do here is go ahead and, and match these documents. And now that I've matched these documents, if we give this an intelligent name again, so that we can easily see it. Oops, can't have a, can't have a space in there. Now that we've given it an intelligent name, you can see we're going to capture it because we've told the software it's, it's in the relationship of below a field and above a field. And so if we look at the arrival date there, it's, it's found. So these relationships that you have are specific to every form that you, you have. The rules are kind of up to you and how you develop it, and you have a lot of flexibility using elements. And like I said, every developer is going to do it differently. And I would challenge you to look at some of these fields um, at a deeper level and even read some documentation to learn about where you can, how you can find different data. Um, you, know, you have different uh, types, currencies, phones, dates. Um, you can even look for separators. So if we wanted to capture this um, uh, picture over here on the on the documents, we can tell it to look for certain bars around the image so that we can capture the actual image itself. A lot of different freedom that we have here as developers to to customize our form and how we capture different documents off of it or fields off of it. Excuse me. So there was a couple where we found the barcode. We also found the guest name. And the, and the arrival date there. But remember, the way that we did that is through um, these relations, and we, we have a lot of flexibility in, in the way that we control that. So every form is going to be different, just understand that, but make sure you, you play around with it, get comfortable with it. There's a lot of different uh, technology features in here that you can use to your advantage and uh, to make life a little bit easier from a development perspective. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, definitely jump in and learn about uh, these different types of elements that we can capture. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us. We would love to be of assistance to you. Thank you so much.